Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Nice to have you with us as we once again celebrate the story of film, our 15-week retrospective of landmark movies inspired by filmmaker Mark Cousins' 15-part documentary of the same name. Well, yesterday we premiered episode five of the series, which talked about the effects World War II had on the movies made during the war and in the years right after. And for the next few hours, we're going to be bringing you some of the movies Mark discussed in that episode, which, by the way, we're going to be showing again later this evening. First, though, we have one of the all-time great movie musicals, maybe the great movie musical, in fact. It's Singing in the Rain, starring Gene Kelly, Don O'Connor, and Debbie Reynolds. Now, looking at it, it's pretty hard to believe that when it was first released in 1952, it didn't cause any extra fuss at all. Audiences and critics certainly enjoyed it, but Singing in the Rain kind of came right on the heels of another Gene Kelly musical, An American in Paris, which had knocked everybody on their ears and won the Academy Award as the best picture of 1951. So that took a great deal of the focus off Singing in the Rain because people were still rhapsodizing over An American in Paris. However, as time went on, people began to reevaluate Singing in the Rain and realize what a jewel this movie really is. It takes place in Hollywood in the late 1920s, right at the time the movie industry was going from making silent films to talking pictures. It has a very witty script by Betty Comden and Adolph Green, who started writing with only one instruction from the film's producer, Arthur Freed. He said, come up with a story which incorporates songs I wrote when I was a songwriter in the late 1920s and early 30s. And indeed, Freed had been a prolific songwriter long before he became the top producer of movie musicals at MGM. The end result of his request to Common and Green, not just an original movie musical, but to many, the best ever made. And we bring it to you now. With a cast that also includes Gene Hagen, giving a performance as a beautiful silent screen star with a voice that could cut glass. A performance which earned her an Academy Award nomination. Here also with Sid Charisse, a movie co-directed by Stanley Donnan and Gene Kelly, Singing in the Rain. Thank you. 